Hi and welcome to class today. So this is going to be a 20 minute stretch class. So we're just going to do some easy going things to just help the body um, feel better after whatever's been going on for you today. So let's get right into it. So to begin, come to a seated shape and come into Jani Shirshasana. Okay, so we're going to bring left foot to the inside part of the right leg. Okay, we want to square ourselves to the front. If you need to anything to support this knee, you could block, bolster, anything like that. Your right knee can bend. Toes are drawn back. You just can take a deep breath, raise the arms up, inhale. And then exhale, we're going to do little pulses. Coming forward. And just dropping the head and the arms. Pause for a moment. The bottom. Inhale, reach the arms up again. And exhale, slowly coming down. And once you get to the bottom, again, just relax for a moment. Third time, coming up. And exhale, this time when you get to the bottom, we're going to hold for a few moments. Okay. Once you're there, you just let the arms drop. Doesn't matter if you touch the foot or not, just lengthen forward, curl downward, let the left knee bend a bit. Three breaths. And slowly coming back up and raise the left knee and switch the other side. So we bring the right foot into the left thigh. Okay. So over here, okay, we make any little adjustments. You can pull some flesh if you need. You shuffle forward a bit. Then you can block or pad up the knee if required. Okay, you're going to inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale slowly, coming forward, doing those little pulse movements, coming down. Once the hands come down, rest for a moment down at the bottom. Inhale, coming up twice more. Exhale slowly, coming down. So we're trying to increase some pliability in the body when we do these movements. Some slow movement, nothing forcing range of motion, but just gently exploring. Third time, inhale, arms up, and exhale slowly, coming down. Once you reach the bottom, okay, relax the hands. It doesn't matter if you touch the foot, shin, ankle, calf, whatever. Chin to the chest. Three breaths. And then slowly coming back up, straighten right leg. Okay, we're going to kind of do a seated cat cow. Okay, so legs are out in front. So we're going to inhale, raise the chest. Exhale, do the opposite. Bend the elbows, sink down. Again, inhale, raise the chest. And exhale, sink down. One more time, inhale, raise the chest, exhale, sinking down, and slowly coming up, okay, we're going to bring both legs in now, so again, make any little adjustments you need to, Paschimottanasana, we're going to do those kind of movements down, so it's not just a static posture, so inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, bending forward, one, Two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, doesn't matter. Inhale, coming back up. And again, that slow pulse down. And last 
time. Inhale, reach the arms up. And this time we're going to hold for a little bit longer. And as you get to the bottom, chin to your chest. Three slow breaths. And slowly coming back up. And we're going to transition, downward facing dog. Once you're in downward facing dog, you're going to pedal the feet a bit. Okay. Sway the hips, Just do whatever your body needs there. Okay. Then when ready, you're going to step left foot forward, right knee comes down. You're going to inhale, coming up. Okay, we're into Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Okay. But we want to be a little higher up, so we're not trying to sink down here. We're going to be a little higher up to begin. Inhale. Exhale, lower a little. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Once more, inhale, up. And on the exhale, hands come down and just reach as far forward as you possibly can. If you need to move your left foot a little bit wider, Okay, you could. Okay, slowly coming back. All the way up with the arms. Hands come down. Step back. Downward facing duck. Right foot forward this time. Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Again, try and be a little more upright. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Lower a bit. Inhale. Come back up. Exhale. Maybe lower a little bit. Doesn't matter how far you go. Inhale. And then exhale. That last time, the arms reach out way out in front. You may want to walk that foot just a little wider if there's any binding in that right hip and we hold okay slowly come back up hands come down step back facing dog. We're going to come up on the toes. We're going to drop the heels to the left. Try to keep even pressure in the hands. Inhale, come back up on the toes. Exhaling, toes, to, or sorry, heels to the right. Even pressure in the hands. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, heels to the left. Inhale, coming back up. Heels to the right. Inhale, come back up. Last time, heels to the left. And keep even pressure in the hands, trying to open up side body. Inhale, come up. And once more, to the right with the heels. Doesn't matter if they touch, doesn't matter what it looks like, just keep even pressure in the hands. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, come back down, tabletop. Okay, from here, inhale, reach the right arm. Right arm comes almost to touch underneath. And inhale, reach the arm up. Second time, arm comes almost underneath to touch. Third time, we're going to hold. Inhale, arm up. And then arm to the left, come on to the right shoulder. And then we're just going to walk left fingers out in front. Hold for three breaths. Yeah, walk 
left hand back in, raise the right arm up, and right arm comes down. Okay, other side, three times again. We're gonna go inhale, left arm up, exhale, left arm almost touches, it reaches as far as it can, inhale, back up, exhale, coming down, one more time, inhale, up, and then this time we hold, we bring that arm towards the floor, walk the right fingers forward, three breaths. facing dog. All right, we're going to bring left knee to wrist. So that's left knee, left wrist, to be more precise. Coming to pigeon. Okay, so we're going to inhale, raise the chest. Exhale, start to come forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly coming forward. Once more, inhale up. And exhale as you come forward, keep the length in the spine. Arms come maybe lower. If you need to stay higher, no problem. If you need to go lower than this, you want it to reach your arms forward. You want it to sit down into that hip, you could. Okay. Whatever you're in, just make sure hips stay square, right leg is straight. Hips square, I may have said that twice. <laughs> Slowly come back up, right toes tuck under, we step back, downward facing dog. We're going to do the same thing to the right side. So we bring the right knee to the wrist, okay, back leg, straightish, hips square, inhale, raise the chest, exhale, coming down, inhale, coming back up. Chest forward, exhale, coming down. Once more, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. Forearms could come down. Always option to take it further. Otherwise, staying more upright. Slowly coming back up from pigeon, moving back, downward facing dog. We're going to come to tabletop and then we're going to move on to the back. Put your on the back, you bring right foot, left thigh. We're going to slowly drop everything to the left. And then come back up for a moment. And then again, everything slowly moving. So by doing these movements, we increase body mobility. Okay, we connect body and breath. Okay, third time we come down, we're gonna hold. Okay, the right foot could float or it could touch floor. And highly optional, but it might be available. Maybe you reach for left foot, right hand, left hand, right shin, and hold here, trying to bring right shoulder back to the floor, not forcing it, but it's just maybe there. Slowly release, coming back up, 
and we're going to switch sides. <coughs> so left foot, right thigh, and then everything just slowly moves to the right, come back up, exhaling nice and slow again to the right. Four coming up, and then last time coming down, hold, got that optional, grabbing for right foot, left shin, this is really optional, so if it's not available today, don't force it. Feet go about width of mat. We're going to cactus the arms, the palms face up, elbows about shoulder distance or shoulder height. I mean, drop the knees to the left, look over the right, to the opposite, knees to the right, to the left. Bring your knees back up into the chest, roll up and grab the shins, head to the knees. Happy baby, we're going to grab outside of feet, gently pull down, and then just maybe a little bit of rocking in your happy baby and under balasana. And then from here, knees to the chest, head can stay down, or one more roll up. And then from this position, shavasana. If your time is short and you're starting and you have only 20 minutes to allocate, slowly reawaken. As always, you're encouraged to stay longer if you would like to or need to. Bring the feet together, arms above the head, get yourself a big long stretch. Bend the knees, roll onto your side. And then gently press yourself up. And come to a seated position. And your eyes closed for just a moment. So I'd like to thank you for joining me in this quick hit stretch yoga session. I wish you a great rest of day wherever it takes you. My heart to yours. Namaste.